Hey, I noticed in the review that you're about to watch, I have a slight milk mustache, but, you know, it's all good. I just didn't feel like re-recording it. But anyway, enjoy, and remember, drink your milk. All right, we picked up where we left off right after they defeated the monster. Haiji and Alan are going up against Ragens, and Ragens is just a smiling-ass bastard. That's what I like about the Mavro crew. All of them are creepy, and they have the same creepy smile. That's a theme I see going on in this, in this um, manga. You know, I guess because it's called Hungry Joker, but, I mean, come on, even the Apple has a creepy smile. And interesting to find out that High G and Alan have become accustomed to their Eurekas, and they can hold the power longer. And High G says that it's been way past five minutes, and he's still able to use his power. That's real interesting because I thought it was, like, literally a time limit, and it was fixed, and that was it. But it's awesome that they can adapt to it and get used to it and sustain that power longer. And Ragens pulls out his Eureka, which is Thalys's Amber Stick. And the thing I like about these Eurekas is it they are legitly in history books. Like, for instance, Newton's Apple. We all know what happened with Newton's Apple in the history book. And with Thalys's Amber Stick, he is the one who found out about electricity. Not the one who, you know, invented it. That was Ben Franklin, but the one who came across electricity first because he rubbed hit the amber stick on his on his fur coat or something like that and it created static electricity so in the manga in this manga hungry joker Dallas's amber stick produces electricity or gives the the wielder the power of electricity and all of the eurekas seem to be like that and I just think that's pretty awesome. But Ragens is shocking the shit out of Haiji and Alan. And there's nothing they can do. They're losing consciousness. They're, it looks like they're dying, actually. And then we switch scenes to Mira and Torioji. And they're talking. And Mira's like, I gotta do something. I gotta help. And she tells Torioji to do the same. And we find out that Mira is able to use the hammer in a different way. She can heal people. And when she goes out to try to help them, Ragens shocks her. And I thought that was it for her. Well, not it, but I didn't think she was going to be able to help, but it turns out she does. And hopefully that hopefully she won't die from healing them because I believe there was something said about at the cost of her, it was almost the cost of her life that she trained with it or something and that she almost died by doing it before. But who knows what's going to happen. And Torioji comes out with this oil, which was quick thinking on her part. You know, I'm glad to see her doing something useful instead of running away and crying like she has been doing. You know, that just gave her character two thumbs up for me. Got some new respect for her. So he couldn't use his lightning anymore. Ragens couldn't use his, use his lightning anymore or else he would catch on fire. And I know what Heidi's thinking. He's thinking, damn, this bitch actually did something to help me. So next chapter, it looks like it's going to be Haiji versus Ragens, and I cannot wait to see that. I'm really enjoying the series. I caught up with the series in about two days. I really hope Mira isn't dead because her character was awesome, how she just came out when um, Haiji and Alan were about to fight a few chapters ago, and she just you know broke them up and separated them, and she told them what the business was, her lively attitude. You know, she's always smiling. You know, she seems to be a, a funny character. I hope that she doesn't die by healing them. But we'll see next chapter. And does anyone know when these chapters come out? Because I, I thought it was weekly, but they seem to be coming out kind of random now. I wasn't expecting a chapter to come out today. So if any of you know, please let me know. And I forgot to mention how Ragens grabs Terry Ogin. He's just about to murder her. I mean, these Mavro do not care about about human life at all and seeing Haiji save her I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a love interest eventually you know they're gonna end up liking each other a lot I can already tell but tell me if you guys enjoyed the chapter and please let me know when the chapters come out because I am so confused but it was an awesome chapter lots of action just like how I like my manga and it moved the story forward nothing really new was revealed beside the, the Amber Stick Eureka and pretty much the confirmation that all the Eurekas have something to do with history, which is awesome, but really nothing new was shown, but that's okay because it was an awesome chapter. Maybe next chapter, I can't wait to see what High G does to Ragen, and I hope he knocks that smile off his face somehow. Maybe a tag team with Alan and High G versus Ragen, but who knows. But let me know what you guys thought. It's been JB the Chiha. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.